Hello, I'm Aaron Schiffer, Senior Manager for U.S. Global Selling. I'm really glad to be with you today. At the end of this presentation, I'll be taking questions, so please be sure to submit them in the chat box. Ann Clark Cookie Cutters is a manufacturer and seller of cookie cutters who launched on Amazon.com as a third-party seller in 2015. After seeing success selling on Amazon.com in the U.S., Ann Clark Cookie Cutters took their business to the next level by expanding internationally. Through Amazon's international stores and fulfillment services, Ann Clark Cookie Cutters has successfully expanded their brand to 19 countries in only seven years. The company has translated their U.S. success globally by using various Amazon tools that we will discuss in this presentation to create quality listings, advertise them, and increase brand awareness. As you can see from our quote here, CEO Ben Clark is ecstatic about the opportunity that selling, on, selling globally on Amazon has presented for their business. He reports, it's been terrific. Expanding internationally without Amazon would mean we'd have to get a distributor in every country that could manage our products. Amazon has made the process much easier. Amazon can provide your business the reach it needs to take it to the next level. Our customer obsession has given us the opportunity to not only reach customers worldwide, but also help businesses of any size scale with our logistics capabilities. We have over 300 million worldwide active customer accounts and over 150 million paid Prime members, meaning more opportunity for you. If you're only selling in the US, then you are only reaching a fraction of Amazon's global customer base. Maybe it's time for you to leverage Amazon's global scale and expand your business like Ann Clark Cookie Cutters has been able to. Not only do we have this giant number of customer accounts, but we also have a brand that transcends worldwide. Amazon was ranked as the most valuable brand in the world this year. Let's learn more about what opportunities that means for you. We have Amazon stores worldwide, allowing selling partners like yourself to grow their reach. If I list them by region, we have 19 stores across the Americas, Europe, Middle East, and Asia Pacific. These stores allow you to reach customers in more than 200 countries with the backing of over 175 fulfillment centers to help you scale your business. Expanding your sales internationally can seem like a big task, but the majority of the process is actually just replicating what you already did to start selling on Amazon.com in the first place. So let's break down that process and take a look at the key steps. First, you'll want to decide where and what to sell, which country store, what products. Then, you register your Seller Central account on that store, which can be done from your existing Seller Central account on .com, and list the products you want to sell. Next, you have to decide if you're going to ship orders yourself as Merchant Fulfilled, or put your inventory into our Fulfillment by Amazon system, enabling us to help you scale by taking over the picking, packing, shipping, customer service, and returns. Finally, once you're actively selling on an international store, you'll want to manage that business similar to how you do domestically. Investing in advertising and brand building, increasing your selection, and generally pulling all the same levers that you do on your existing Amazon account to drive growth. For researching what to sell or product demand, we have a new tool available in Seller Central called Global Selection Guidance that helps you do just that for the UK, Germany, and Japan. If you go to the tool in your US Seller Central account, it will guide you through product discovery, recommending products from your US catalog that show a high score for potential in the UK, Germany, and Japan. The score for potential in these other stores is determined by leveraging our machine learning capabilities and Amazon data, where we consider hundreds of attributes to identify opportunities based on demand signals, competition, and propensity to sell. Furthermore, 
The products being highlighted by the tool have gone through restricted products and product compliance considerations so that the recommendations are more likely to be compliant in the target countries, allowing you to get them listed faster. We've just launched global selection guidance in the past few months, and already over 200,000 sellers have visited the experience and taken advantage of the solution, with 75% being repeat users in August. So make sure you check it out. To find the tool, on your homepage in Seller Central under the Global Product Demand Card, you can click on Expand Your Products Globally to show the recommendations. Also, in the next few weeks, it should start showing up in the top navigation menu under the Growth tab. Beyond these insights from our new Global Selection Guidance tool, it's important to do your research about the international stores to understand the opportunities that each one holds. Let's see what Ann Clark Cookie Cutters has to say about the EU. The EU stores are an extremely attractive and consolidated channel, one of the biggest and best we operate in. There are 227 million monthly unique visitors shopping on our Amazon European stores. More than 86,000 third-party sellers last year sold over $100,000 on the European stores. And selling on the European stores gives you a reach to customers from over 28 countries who come to the EU stores to shop. So how does the size of the European stores customer base compare to the US? 227 million monthly unique visitors is almost 60% as many customers as sellers are reaching currently by only selling in the US. And reaching those 227 million customers is made easier by the fact that our EU Seller Central account is a unified account that allows you to list across all of the stores in one account with the same ASIN and SKU across stores. By far, the largest two Amazon stores in Europe are the UK, with 62 million unique monthly visitors, and Germany, with 59 million unique monthly visitors, making those two countries the primary places to focus your initial investment when expanding to Europe. With the UK and Germany as the top two European stores, a commonly successful go-to-market strategy is to leverage FBA by sending inventory to both countries from the start. This allows you to capture the UK traffic easily, as it's an English-speaking country, and use Germany as a hub to sell across the other European stores. Fulfillment by Amazon's international solutions empower your business to expand across Europe easily through programs such as the European Fulfillment Network and Pan-European FBA. Our European Fulfillment Network has the ability for any FBA inventory that you put into the EU countries to be listed and fulfilled across all of the EU stores, meaning that inventory in Germany can be used to fulfill orders coming from the Spain or Italy stores. Furthermore, when you enable the PanEU FBA program, you can ship all of your inventory to one country, such as Germany, and Amazon will use sales data to move your inventory across our European fulfillment centers for you so that your products can be delivered even faster to your customers. Sellers must make sure they are tax compliant to sell in Europe. That, or value added tax compliance, can now be handled through your European Seller Central account. VAT Services on Amazon is a VAT compliance solution that helps you manage VAT registration offline with tax providers and filing obligations online in Seller Central. You only need to provide us with the data and documentation we request based on the countries that you choose. And VAT Services on Amazon will take care of the complex, costly, and time-consuming processes for you. If you are a non-EU-based seller, you will be required to provide what is called fiscal representation in some EU countries in order to register for VAT. Your service provider will support you with the fiscal representation as part of VAT services on Amazon. Similarly, in order to ship into the UK and EU countries, you will need what is called an EORI number. 
which your tax provider will also support you with obtaining as part of that services on Amazon. This is a popular service for US sellers. In 2020, 56% of VAT numbers from US new sellers were handled by VAT services on Amazon. And the even better news is that there's a promotion running for Amazon to cover the cost of VAT registration, fiscal representation, and filing in the UK and all the other EU countries for the first six months. And as I said, you can also obtain your UK or EU EORI number free of charge. After your first six months, you will be charged a monthly fee for VAT services on Amazon as low as 33.3 euros a month. You're free to choose any number of countries from the UK, Germany, France, Italy, Spain, Poland, and the Czech Republic. For the next group of slides, I'm gonna run through a lightning round of selection insights specific to Amazon's EU stores, so listen carefully for your product categories. This is a level of detail that will be unique to the EU opportunity during this presentation, as we don't yet have these insights ready to share for other Amazon stores. Let me explain this graph because you'll see it many times for different categories as I run through this. The size of the bubble highlights the size of the subcategory based on sales revenue on Amazon. The larger the bubble, the more sales. The growth axis that goes left and right indicates how fast the subcategory's sales revenue is growing. The further to the right of the chart, the faster a subcategory is growing. The selling partner concentration, or SP concentration axis, that goes up and down indicates how many sellers are selling into this subcategory. So the higher on the chart, the more sellers are participating in the subcategory. The trifecta of opportunity on this chart is going to be a larger bubble on the lower right, indicating high sales with high growth and lower seller participation. If we look at electronic devices as a starting category, phones and accessories are where you will find the highest sales and growth coupled with medium levels of seller participation. In electronic accessories, batteries and chargers stands out. In home and kitchen, it's kitchen appliances and accessories. In lawn and garden, the subcategory of gardening products is the clear winner. In office products, office paper products stands out. In sports, it's fitness and yoga products and cycling products. In toys, crafts and paint, and board games are a huge opportunity. In baby, baby room, along with diapers and baby care, stand out. In grocery and home supplies, it's beer, wine, and spirits, along with drinks and coffee. In beauty, bath and body and hair care are the winners. In women's apparel for bottoms, leggings and tights, as well as trousers stand out. In women's apparel for tops, hoodies and t-shirts are where to focus. In men's apparel for bottoms, it's trousers. And in men's apparel for tops, it's hoodies. In shoes, sneakers and clogs stand out. And finally, we have soft lines accessories where sunglasses and caps show the greatest promise. Hopefully, these insights will help guide your research on the EU stores. Okay, let's move from the EU to another great opportunity, Canada. Here is what Ann Clark Cookie Cutters thinks about the Canada store. Canada expansion is a natural first step for most US businesses, thanks to the cultural and linguistic similarity of the two markets. We love our Canadian customers. Amazon Canada is the number one largest e-commerce site in Canada with 29 million monthly visitors. That's more than half the population of Canada visiting Amazon on a monthly basis. In 2020, Canada had the 10th largest economy in the world and is steadily growing. Annual e-commerce sales are $44 billion in 2021, ranked ninth in the world. 
Beyond reaching 29 million new customers, why sell on Amazon Canada? One login. Your US and Canada account are under the same login. Holidays. Most of our holidays are shared with Canada. Plus, Canada has additional holidays, meaning more chances for visibility to your products. Fulfillment made easy. Ship your own orders or take advantage of fulfillment by Amazon and leave the shipping, returns, and customer service to us. And easily create French pages. You can create your listing in English and Amazon will auto-create French pages for you. How is the Canada store similar to the US? Customers and demand. Customers shop for similar products and categories on the Canada store compared to the US. And as I mentioned, they also have similar seasonality and holidays to the US. Fulfillment by Amazon. You will have the Prime badge when shipping products to FBA. Account management. Once set up, managing the Amazon Canada business is almost identical to managing Amazon.com as fulfillment and marketing processes are largely the same across both stores. And again, your Canada store can be managed through a single seller central account with your existing US business. What kind of growth has our Canada store experienced? In 2011, we opened our first Canadian fulfillment center in Ontario. Due to the demand that Amazon has had in Canada, by, 20, by the end of 2021, we will operate 17 fulfillment centers in Canada, allowing your products to get their, allowing your customers to get their products even faster. A unique opportunity for selling into Canada through FBA is the North America Remote Fulfillment Program, or NARF, as we call it. NARF gives you the ability to sell in Canada using the inventory that you have in your US fulfillment centers. It's an excellent way to test demand for your products in Canada and gain additional sales. So what does that mean for Prime? When using NARF, you will have the Prime badge on your Canada listings. Taxes. Amazon will collect and remit taxes on your behalf. Shipping. Products are delivered in seven to 12 days to Canada NARF orders. Your customer is the importer of record and Amazon is the exporter of record. Fees. Instead of FBA fees, you will see a NARF fee. NARF fees are the ones associated with products shipping from the US FBA inventory sent directly to customers in Canada. There's no additional fees to join the program and any difference in fulfillment fees is covered by the customer and returns. Returns are handled the same way as they are in the US and they'll be sent back to your US fulfillment center. Now, while NARF is a great program to get your FBA listings into Canada with low investment needed, you can significantly decrease your delivery times and increase your sales by shipping your inventory into our Canadian fulfillment centers making it locally fulfilled FBA instead of FBA fulfilled from the US. To make it easier for you to participate in that method of FBA, we have an awesome program that incentivizes adding new selection into FBA. Eligible FBA sellers can take advantage of the following benefits each calendar year. If you're new to FBA, you get your first $100 in inbound transportation charges waived. You get fee waivers on up to 100 new to FBA parent ASINs that you create, free monthly storage for the first 30 units sent to Amazon fulfillment centers for 90 days, no removal fees on the first 30 units removed within 180 days, and free return processing. As a recap, how can you get your products to customers in Canada? We have three options for you. Fulfillment by Amazon, with FBA, send your product to Amazon's fulfillment centers in Canada, and we pick, pack, ship, provide customer service, and returns for those products. Your customers are guaranteed two-day delivery, and the fee structure is pay as you go. You're charged for the storage space and the orders we fulfill. Or merchant fulfilled, allows you to manage and ship your own inventory. Or remote fulfillment by FBA. Products are delivered in seven to 12 days to Canada from the US FBA centers. The NARF fee is rolled into the listing price automatically, ensuring you maintain healthy margins. Let's see what Ann Clark Cookie Cutters says about the Japan store. We are very bullish on Japan. We're excited about the growth potential. 
This quote reflects what we commonly hear from U.S. sellers about expanding to the Amazon Japan store. If you're willing to invest properly, the size of the customer demand and overall opportunity to sell into Japan is very large. The monthly unique visitor count to our Japan store is 62 million customers. Amazon has the third largest economy in the world and annual e-commerce sales of $144 billion. You should want to be part of the world's third largest economy. Japan has a population of 127 million people and 72% of Japanese shoppers make purchases online. This makes Amazon Japan a perfect store to grow your reach. Launched in the year 2000, Amazon Japan has 21 years of success. We've earned customers' trust there by offering solid operations and customer service, and it's still growing. And you don't have to speak Japanese. Amazon offers many language support options for managing your sales, customer service, and translations. Your ASINs may even already exist on the Japan store, which would allow you to launch even faster. Tap into our world-class logistics, tools, and customer service, including fulfillment by Amazon, to simplify the process so you can focus on your business. Japan's FBA offers state-of-the-art logistics services in equal quality to what you may be used to in the US, as well as local unique features such as cash on delivery. Some Japanese shoppers still prefer cash on delivery, but you don't have to manage handling cash collection with Japan's FBA. You also don't have to speak Japanese. With FBA, Amazon customer service manages order inquiries in Japanese for you. And finally, the Japan store offers many deal events that are unique to Japan. Japan is a country with many national holidays. There are more than 17 public holidays each year. Take advantage of the event opportunities in the Japan store throughout the entire year while the U.S. business is not as busy as that fourth quarter holiday season. Now that we've covered figuring out where and what to sell, let's talk about how to actually move forward with the process. When you're ready to expand, a great place to start is by registering using linked accounts and build international listings, otherwise known as bill. Linking accounts unifies your selling experience across Amazon's international stores and lets you more easily manage and scale your business. Here are a few benefits. Single sign-on allows you to toggle between accounts in different regions. A global sales summary page allows you to view sales, orders, and buyer messages from all of your countries in one place. And finally, a discounted price for selling across regions. With this, you can register to sell in most countries and we will limit the total monthly subscription fee to $39.99 that covers all of the accounts when they're linked. To get started, Log into your Seller Central account, go to the Inventory tab, then the Sell Globally page to register or link your account to another region. Or go to amazon.com slash sellglobally to start your registration. The QR, the QR code will also take you there. The Build International Listings tool, or Bill tool I mentioned, helps you create and update offers from a single source store to one or more target stores. You save time and effort by managing offers in just one store. From that source store, the tool will update eligible offers and prices in the target stores based on the settings that you specify and currency exchange rates. In order to use Bill, be sure to link your accounts. The ability to duplicate listings from the US and UK stores to other countries is super useful. Without it, global expansion would be a painfully manual process. As you can see from our quote here, Ann Clark Cookie Cutters used the Build International Listings tool to fuel their expansion, agreeing that it reduced a significant amount of the administrative burden of migrating their US listings to other Amazon stores reinforcing that it's something you too should make sure you look into utilizing on your journey towards global selling. If you don't speak German, 
Japanese, French, Italian, Spanish, Dutch. How will you handle these requirements? Don't fret. Translations are made easy with Amazon's translation tools. And of course, there are other options as well, such as free online translation services or translation service providers that you can find on our solution provider network at amazon.com SPN. After registering your linked account and listing your products, you will need to decide how to fulfill orders to your international customers. Your goal will be to understand what's involved in the shipping and fulfilling in different countries, including costs, times, and requirements. You can use Fulfillment by Amazon International Solutions, or you can handle shipping yourself. Either way, this will involve choosing a shipping partner and understanding the requirements such as import and export regulations, which you'll want to discuss with your shipping partner. We recommend you make sure to shop around for the best shipping rates, especially if you don't already have a deeply discounted relationship set up with a shipping provider for your domestic operations that can be leveraged for your international shipping. Fulfillment by Amazon is available in all the stores that we covered today. So FBA's suite of solutions can help you grow your business not only in the US, but also abroad. Ship your products to Amazon's global fulfillment centers, and FBA will take care of the rest, picking, packing, shipping, localized 24-7 customer service, and returns. To help you ship into our fulfillment centers in other regions, we have a network of service providers that provide discounted rates to Amazon sellers on shipping and more. Go to amazon.com SPN to learn more. Now, sellers often confuse selling globally through FBA and what is called the FBA Export Program. So this is a good time to discuss the two. We offer various avenues to begin your global selling journey. To reach customers shopping locally on international Amazon stores, selling globally through FBA in another region gives you a reach to those customers. This allows you to put a prime offer in front of international customers who are shopping on their local stores, such as a French customer who's shopping on the Amazon France store. On the other hand, the FBA export program makes your local US offers available to international customers. For example, if you're selling on Amazon.com, a customer from France who goes to Amazon.com can buy your products when you enable FBA export in your Seller Central FBA settings. Keep in mind, the majority of French customers are not shopping on Amazon.com. They are shopping on the Amazon France store. Now let's touch on some common FBA mistakes when expanding globally. Not getting the IORI, VAT, or NRI registration started right away. Listing Amazon as your importer of record using delivery duty unpaid instead of paid for method of shipping into FBA, not using country-specific labels. Do not print and use the FBA labels from your US account. Even if your ASIN and SKU are the same, the FBA label is different by region. And make sure that you're allowed to ship the products to Europe, Canada, and Japan. To close out, on Ann Clark Cookie Cutter's sentiments towards global selling, let's see what they had to say. When we expanded internationally with Amazon, we went all in. In each country, there is a segment of consumers who are good candidates for our products, and we are just getting started. It sounds to me like international expansion with Amazon has taken their business to the next level, and I'm excited to see you replicate their success. One more time, here are the websites and QR code you can use to start the account registration process for selling on international stores, as well as a few websites where you can learn more about selling in Europe, Japan, and Canada.